Last but not least, we have the Elgato Game Capture HD. Awesome sauce. Hello everyone, my name is Evil's Vox, and welcome to the first of many Clashcom 13 prize package unboxings. This is a f unboxing, and I'm gonna say first looks, but it's really more of a second looks, because I've already done one of these, and I already have one of these, of the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now, as I said, I do have one of these, and I use it pretty regularly, that's what all my console footage is recorded with, and some of my PC footage, and I will actually be using this to, I will be using my first Elgato for my Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, my second Elgato will be for my Wii and my PC. That way I can stream PC while recording it without sacrificing performance. And that is my goal to use with this. So you may see some footage from PC captured with the Elgato. On the side here you have another view of the Elgato. Front, you have Elgato, third little play symbol. Elga Elgato, Game Capture HD, High Definition Game Recorder. French that I can't pronounce, even though it just says High Definition Game Recorder. Game Capture HD by Elgato. Stuff you don't care about on the bottom. And on the back. Your skills immortalize. Record your PlayStation or Xbox gameplay to Mac or PC, built-in live streaming to Twitch, full 1080p capture, lag-free HDMI pass-through, flashback recording, one-click sharing to YouTube, compact size, and easy setup. USB 2.0 interface input for Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 or PC or Wii or Wii U or anything that connects via component or HDMI basically. Output HDMI, pass through, supported resolutions 1080p, uh, 1080i, 720p, 560p, 560i, 480p, 480i, 280p, 240p. If you're using something like this to capture in 240p, we need to talk. Dimensions, it's pretty small, weight, it weighs nothing, system requirements, OS X 10.7 or later, Windows 7 or later, 2.0 GHz dual core CPU basically, 4 gigs of RAM, USB 2.0 port. Enclosed, you'll find the things that I'm going to show you, Windows 8 compatible, Mac compatible, full HD 1080p, HDMI, Twitch, check them out on social media. Let's pull out the box here. Maybe. There we go. Down on here it shows some generic scene from a console. It's meant to represent a game. Even though it's probably not from a specific game. And we have the Game Capture HD itself. And a get started thing that says to go to their website and download the latest software. I like that they have that because all hardware should have a, something that tells you where to go to download the newest version. And the Game Capture HD itself is mounted in there very quite nicely. Let's see if we can just pull it out here. We can! Like I said, very, very small, very lightweight, about the size of a cell phone. And this is actually my cell phone here. Not an iPhone, but a good quality, or good size comparison nonetheless. It's very, very small, very, very lightweight. We'll get to that in a second. Get the rest of it opened up here. Inside, we have all the accessory goodies. Don't need that anymore. Inside, package number one. Which already appears to be pre-opened for me. <laughs> yep. We have the very long, like, six foot, I think, USB 2.0 cable. We have the component breakout cable adapter. And if you want to use composite devices with this, like the GameCube or older retro consoles, simply hook up the yellow composite cord to the red in on the component, and hook up audio as normal, and you'll be able to use it. HDMI cable. Love to see access, you know, products come with these. And then this is the special, specifically PS3 cable, that plugs into the back component port of the PS3, and then plugs into the Elgato. Gives you a bit better signal than just using the component cable itself. I like using this because it actually, um, it, like I said, it carries a bit better signal than just straight component. 
And we have the Elgato itself. Game Capture HG. On one side here we have HDMI in and AV in, and that is for the component or the PS3 adapter. HDMI in for anything HDMI. And on the back we have HDMI out and USB to connect to your computer for data out. And like I said, it's very, very small. This is it sitting in my hand. Weighs nothing. And it's got little rubber grips on the back in case you want to set it on your desk. It won't go anywhere. I don't really like sitting it on my desk though, since it has cords going in both ends. It would be kind of like... There's no... How do I explain this? With how... You know, when you set something on the desk... You know, like, pretend this is a computer mouse here. Sorry. All the cords run to the back of the desk and out to your computer and stuff. But when it's something like this, cords run to both sides, so there's no real way, like, if you want to set it up and look pretty, there's no real way to do that, because cords gotta run everywhere. Mine's actually sitting up against my wall on the floor with cords running to it to make sure it reaches everything. But yeah, this is the Elgato Game Capture HD. And if you want, I will actually go ahead, since I probably have some, and if not, I'll record some. I'll go ahead and throw up some 1080p Xbox footage of something um, on here so you can see it. Just for a quick quality test, since I am doing a video on this and I will have time. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love these capture cards. Very cheap, very affordable, and yet they do the job with full 1080p HDMI, 30 megabyte per second, which is plenty good enough. Thank you for watching my unboxing and first looks, or second looks even, at the Ogato Game Capture HD. Fantastic product. Highly suggest you check it out. Links in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more of my ClashCom 13 unboxings. See you next time.